In this war with the Dyronel Empire, the prince and his friends faced down all manner of individuals trying to kill or capture dragons. But if we take a look back, he's already invited someone with the same goal directly into his castle. Amane, the child of miracles, is a four-star light one who is not only a member of the dragon-hating Cyril tribe seeking to rid the world of dragons, but also let one of Shell's spies into the Halidom upon her arrival too. Her initial goal was to learn the weakness of dragons and kill them all, which would have made great intel for Cyril and Dyronel if Amane hadn't been consumed by the all-encompassing friendship that the prince and his allies emit. Amane herself claims claims to be 24 years old, and while it's a little impossible to verify that, her level of maturity seems to imply she's actually as old as she looks, although she has been around longer than all the more powerful, more useful, and equally murdery light mages. While spending the rest of her life at the Halidom, however, Amane is wasting no time in training to get stronger to kill all the Titan I mean dragons. While she has basic magic blasts, their main use is to charge up her signature attack and first skill, Imperial Leaven, which does not translate to Royal Albert's hometown, but actually means Celestial Lightning. And Amane can power herself up with her second skill, Hallowed Raiments, where I kid you not, she channels the power of Holy Clothes to increase both her strength and maximum health. As a mage, Amane has the Associated Mage Co Ability Starter Pack and has the Skill Damage Co Ability, but she's also stuck with the first edition that all veteran adventurers got and has a near useless Shatter Res Chain Co Ability. However, she handpicks her main three abilities for maximum Dragon Slaying ability. Amane is planning to be ready when the time to strike is right and has started preparing her skills before battle, although she's not quite ready just yet. She also wanted to never be unable to use her powerful attacks and built up a full resistance to curse. And when she's fighting a dragon and it's broken and vulnerable, she's ready to take full advantage of the situation with Broken Punisher. Now, when gearing up, Amane always uses a wand that gives her the best advantage against dragons, so any wand with a Dragon's Bane ability for any dragon will do. She also uses the worm print Fires of Hate to symbolize how much she wants to kill all the titans, and the eight-leaf clover represents her luck as the child of miracles. Now, her Dragon Pact is one she personally won't use, but she's been growing close to Phidon and Felix at the Halidom, so maybe we can sneak one of the other adorable baby dragons in there. She can also borrow some powerful skills from others, like the Ancient Ray, that's precise and good for dealing with dragons quickly, and the Howling Meteor skill that will lead to their extinction. Finally, when hunting down dragons, it's important to bring along a group capable of such a feat. Vice is a skilled assassin who's good at killing things and is itching to do so. Aldred can harness the power of dragons himself and use that power against them. Besides, those dragons might be with the Syndicate! Finally, Berserker is always down for a good hunt, no questions asked. In summary, who was I talking about again? 